All right, so just as promised, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to create your picking pen uh, program using the virtual pendant in ABB Robot Studio. So, um, open up your station to Rapid. You should see the pen visible in your cell. If you don't see the pen, make sure you go to the home screen, right click on the word T pen, and turn on the visibility, this little check mark. Then you'll see the pen. If your robot is not at the current home position, meaning that the robot should be like the wrist and the arm extended straight out, then you should right click on the IRB 120 default and go down to where it says move to pose and jump at home. Now, we are going to start writing our program. So you're going to want to go and open up your virtual pendant. So that is done here on the controller tab. So you're going to open up the virtual pendant. Mine looks a little bit different in the video, but it's in the controller tools bar right here. And I'm going to start my IRC5 virtual flex pendant. It's going to open. Then I'm going to open up my operating mode window. It's right here under virtual controller. Click it. Now the pendant will disappear, but it's behind. You'll notice where I'm pointing. It's behind the window. So if I click it, you'll see it reappears. Every time you click on ABB uh, Robot Studio graphic window, it's going to go behind. So I just want you to notice that it doesn't go away. It just goes behind. So in your operating mode window, I'd like you to click manual mode and I'd like you to enable the device. Go back to your virtual flex pendant. You'll notice that your motors have been enabled. They're, they're on. And I want you to go to the main menu and to your program editor. You might have an existing program like I do. I have some move uh, absolute J, a move J. You might have some move L's. We're going to start over. So go to your task and program bar right here. Click it. Go down to file and click new program. But don't save. Make sure that SMT is highlighted. You may also want to make sure that this is enabled. I'm going to move my flex pendant away a little bit so that I can see my robot and maybe fix my zooming by rolling my mouse middle button in and out. But this should be my first movement is I want my robot to start here. So I'm going to add an instruction. Because I, I know that the robot is going to struggle to get to this point, moving its joints, I'm going to use a move absolute J as my first movement. This asterisk that you see right here, if I click away and then I slowly double click, oops, I got to do it again, a slow click on it twice will open up that data point, that Rob target, and I'm going to click new. And I'm going to name that P home. While it's open, I'm going to look at the velocity and the zone and the tool and make sure that this is correct. It's okay if it goes 1,000 millimeters per second. It's okay if it has a large zone of 50. And I want it to use T-Pen because it's not holding anything at this moment. It doesn't have to hit its target, and it should be holding the pen. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click on my graphics screen. I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to move my robot so that it's posed to pick up the pen. So I'm going to click on my home screen. I'm going to click on jog linear right here and I'm going to highlight my pen. Zoom in. Pull the y-axis, which is the green arrow, towards you a little bit, and the z-axis down a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. 
Now I'm going to click the reorientate, jog reorientate, and I'm going to zoom back in. My goal is to get the suction cup to point up and my pen to point perfectly straight down. So to do that, I want to right click and I want to look at or orientate my view to look at it from the front. So now I can rotate the red, which looks like it's not doing it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, orientate from the left, and I'm going to try to rotate it. And it's now a little bit easier to rotate up, right click, orientate back to the front and see if it lets me orientate it now. Yep, now it lets me do it. So sometimes you have to go back and forth between the front and the left until you can get that suction cup to point straight up. I was already in the left, my bad, front. And now it looks pretty darn good. Now I'm gonna zoom at an angle and I'm gonna go back to linear. Highlight the tool and I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit and down. And I'm gonna zoom out. Maybe bring it in a little bit. Now, if I right click and I look at everything from the top and then I go back to orientate, and highlight my tool, now I can twist the wrist this way so it comes in at this angle. Okay. Let's go back to linear, highlight the tool, and bring the blue straight down. I don't want it to hit the table, but I want it to be nice and low, just like it's about to pick up the pen. I'm going to go back to my flex pendant and I'm going to call this position P approach as if it's about to go and grab the pen. So the instruction I'm going to add is a move J. I want it to be inserted below. Notice how it created an asterisk because it doesn't know what the name of this position should be. So I'm going to name it by double clicking on it, a new position, and I'm going to call it P approach pen. It's okay if it goes there quickly with a thousand velocity, and it's okay if it uses a zone of 50 while using T pen. If you need to change it, just click on these and change them, but mine are okay. So I'm going to click okay. Now I'm going to go back to my cell. I'm going to right click and I'm going to view orientation from the top. I'm going to go back to linear, which I think I'm already in highlight the tool, and then I'm going to simulate as if it were to move forward a little bit to grab onto the pen tool. So it just moved forward a little bit. So I just moved it. Now I'm going to go back to my teach pendant, and I'm going to add another instruction. This one's going to be a move L. Click. I don't like that it are, uh, um, automatically created this new name, so I'm going to slow to click on it. And I'm going to change this P approach pen 10 to the name P at pen. But I don't think it should go at a thousand millimeters per second because it'll knock the pen over. So I'm going to make it only a hundred. And it has to get to that target. So the zone of 50 won't work. I need it to be a fine. So notice how I scrolled all the way up and I found fine. And I'm going to click OK. Now, assuming that it was literally over the pen tool ready to grab it, I need to now close the gripper. So I'm going to set. Set means turn on. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find gripper closed. And I'm going to click OK. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to while I'm still in jog linear, I'm going to grab this blue Z axis and I'm going to just pull it up a little bit as if it's picking the pen up. Then I'm going to go back to the virtual pendant and I'm going to do another move out. And now I have a P at pen 10 
don't like that name, so I'm going to double click it. And I'm going to change that name to P above pen. Slowly moving up, I like the V100. I have to hit that target, and I'm using the pen tool. So everything from this point looks, in my mind, good. So I'm going to run it and see what happens. Debug, PP domain. Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. Yes. And I'm going to hit play. I'm going to move this out of the way and let's watch it go. So there's my first position. It moves down to my approach, linear forward, closes gripper, and it moves up. So you won't see the gripper close in this program, but you will see it close out on the station. So it will repeat. So that is a completed program. When you're done, you're going to hit stop. And you have completed this activity. Thank you so much for watching.